Hi there, let's go over how to calculate what's called SXX for a data set using a calculator. I'll show you how to do it using this calculator, which is made to resemble the TI-83 and is probably pretty similar to your calculator. I'll also leave a link in the description to a more in-depth lesson on this topic. SXX simply denotes the sum of the squared deviations from the mean for a set of data. And this simple explanation gives way to this formula, but this formula is actually not super easy to use, and certainly not with a calculator. Thankfully, there's this other sort of shortcut formula, which is exactly the same, believe it or not, and this is much easier to use with a calculator. In this shortcut formula, there are two important components, the sum of the squares of our data values and the sum of the data values, which is getting squared. The calculator is gonna give us both of these pieces of information, then we can use a formula. Here is our data set. I've brought up the calculator. Let's go through the process. The first thing we have to do is enter the data into the calculator. To do that, I'll press stat and then go to edit. And now I can enter data in my lists. I'll just go to list one and then enter the data. 33, 45, 42, 70, 36, and 39. That is our data set. Just make sure I didn't enter anything wrong. Looks good. Now that I've got the list of data, I can do math with it. So again, I'll press the stat button and then go to calc and then press one var stats, which is gonna give me the statistics for a single list of numbers. Then I'll put in the list that I want, which is the one we just entered. So I'll press second, list, and then list one. That's where we put our data. Now I've got all the statistics I need. Okay, here are the two things we need from the calculator in order to calculate SXX because the calculator doesn't give us SXX up front. We do have to use this formula. And I've copied the calculator's output over here just so I can use my red pointer in order to point at stuff on it. So where is the sum of the squares of our data values on the calculator? It's simply right here, sigma x squared, 12,595. That's the sum of the data value squared, 12,595. The other thing we need is the sum of the data values, which the calculator gives us right here, sigma x. That's 265. Now that I've got these two numbers, I can plug them into the formula for SXX and be on my way. The formula tells us that SXX is going to be the sum of the squared data values, and that is 12,595. And then we subtract the sum of the data values squared, so that's 265 squared, which is written there. And then you just need to divide by n, which is the number of data values that we've got. And in this case, that's 6. And so there it is. This is SXX. I've just got to plug it into my calculator in order to get the decimal approximation. When I plug this into my calculator, I get about 890.83. And so that is SXX. That is the sum of the squared deviations from the mean. That's how you calculate it. Lastly, here's an example to try on your own. Another little data set. Plug the data into your calculator and then use this formula to calculate SXX. I'll put what I get on screen now. And here's what I got. Using these statistics from my calculator and then the shortcut formula, I found that SXX is about 23.3. Hopefully you got the same thing. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.